like this is one of those days again where for some reason half the side is raining and half the side is all sunny. Although I guess in terms of weather and stuff like that, imagine going outside looking at the blue skies and then seeing this, like a floating ship of some sort? This one says, hovering ship photographed off UK coast in rare optical illusion. Maybe it's a new kind of drone, huh? It says, unusual footage from the UK has many scratching their heads over a rare optical illusion, one you might call a hovering tanker, a ghost ship, or whatever floats your boat. Pedestrian David Morris spotted a large tanker seemingly hovering high above the ocean from a beach in Cornwall recently, UK media report. <laughs> Again, imagine that, just walking around saying, am I seeing things or is there like a floating boat there? And I guess in terms of the explanation as to why it's hovering, I guess like in this post here it says, hovering ship. This is what is known as looming superior mirage, mostly seen in the Arctic caused by light being refracted by a big temperature inversion between the cold sea and warm air just above it. Weird though. Did anyone actually fully comprehend that? But well, they do show you like a diagram and stuff too. Like here it says, the actual ship, the light bends due to differing air density and it says here, so objects appear higher. How many people would actually phone, let's just say 911 or something like that saying, whoa, what's going on? As if they saw like, I don't know, like a UFO or something like that. It actually makes me wonder if through human engineering, if you could actually replicate something like this on command, that must be one of the coolest, I would guess you could say, magic shows, for example, outdoors, if you want to trick people in a live audience setting. Look at this, I can make this fly all of a sudden. Because usually, I guess, for those types of magic acts outdoors with so much people, everyone's actually in on it. I would still think it's edited somehow if someone showed me a picture of this saying, this is what I saw today. And we're usually flying drones outdoors. Sometimes it could unexpectedly come in contact with like say a lot of bugs. I know I've seen that before. You bring it down like wow, look at all the splatter from all the mosquitoes and stuff like that on the propellers. How about actually purposely doing this, I guess, to control pests? This one says drone versus moths. Dutch grower engages tech to kill pests. Dutch crest grower Rob Van has enlisted high-tech helpers to tackle a pest in his greenhouses. Palm-sized drones seek and destroy moths that produce caterpillars that can chew up his crops. I have unique products where you don't get certification to spray chemicals and I don't want it, Van said in an interview in a greenhouse bathed in the pink glow of LED lights that helped his seedlings grow. His company, Copper Crest, exports aromatic seedlings, plants and flowers to top-end restaurants around the world. A keen adopter of the innovative technology in his greenhouses, Ban turned to PATS Indoor Drone Solutions, a startup that's developing autonomous drone systems as greenhouses sentinels to add another layer of protection for his plants. The drone themselves are basic, but they are steered by smart technology aided by special cameras to scan the airspace in greenhouses. And like they say here, there's nothing really super high tech about what they're doing. They're literally just flying the drone right into it. It says the drones instantly kill the moths by flying into them, destroying them in midair. So it sees the moth flying by, it knows where the drone is, and then it just directs the drone towards the moth, said PATS Chief Technical Officer Kevin Van Heck. There weren't any moths around on the recent greenhouse visit by the Associated Press, but the company has released a video shot in a controlled environment that shows how one bug is instantly pulverized by a drone rotor. The drones form part of an array of pest control systems in Van's greenhouses that also include other bugs, pheromone traps, and bumblebees. So again, there's nothing really fancy or revolutionary about what they're doing. It almost reminds me of those videos I've seen before early on where there were beehives or something like that outside and people would actually literally take their large phantom drone or something like that and just ram right into it to slowly cut it down.
Hey, see you guys later.